Hey guys, Edward here again. Thanks for dropping by to my YouTube channel again. And so that's my full size scanner on the wall. Look good. It looks good, isn't it? Thanks to someone on Thingiverse for sharing the file here so I can mount it on the wall. This is a full size one and it has been a really great plane, very floaty. That's why with uh, two pieces of 4 cell 3000mAh uh, LiPo battery. And uh, efficiency wise, not that good, which from forum, I think people mentioned that it's because of the flat uh, bottom airfoil. So, this video is regarding the wing split over there. It's designed by me, and I'd like to apologize that uh, it, took, it, took, I mean, it took me so long time to uh, finally do this video to share with you about the, the thing. And uh, also, sorry to those who have. Uh, Private, send me a private message regarding the file but I didn't reply due to uh, I'll prefer that I make a video to show you how this works and how to install it before releasing releasing the file and uh, so I have shared about this uh, wing split mod on forum and uh, they were concerned about using just one screw over here it's a M4 Allen key screw and uh, I mean, there, there were worries, but I've flown uh, quite a number of times with this modification and it was all fine. And uh, why is it alright is because, I mean, the force, okay, um, this screw is holding this piece to here. And uh, the, resi I mean, the problem that you would have or the force applied to it is only the upward force, right? With the air lift pulling the wing upwards instead of apart. So I think it's fine. And uh, you see, I'm using M4 uh, screw instead of M3. Much thicker than M3. So pretty confident with it. And I'll show you why in terms of the design. And uh, there are two parts on each wing. Uh, one is on 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 the on mark one you mounted on the the inside, the other one you mounted on the inside, and now show you some tips when I dismantle it. So reason why do I make my Sky Hunter wings detachable is because wingspan is thousand eight hundred uh, millimeters, one point eight meter, and I just got myself a new Civic FC, and there's no removable rear seat, so I couldn't load the plane into the car without removing the wing and uh, even just removing the tail I still have problem loading it into a car it's just too much so with this uh, save me a lot of time and uh, hassle as well I could just line it uh, at the back seat horizontally and it fits so later I'll show you a video of it, uh, I mean dismantling it as well as uh, how it looks like with the wing uh, removed and uh, placed on top and save a lot, lot of space. I'll take it down now and uh, show you how easy, how easy it is to dismantle the wing, uh, hassle free and uh, make it convenient for you. Okay, after this video then I'll, I'll release the file to you guys. Alright, so that's the back of it, and uh, other than this part, there's another very crucial part as well. I run the VTX towards the end of the wing, that's why other than the servo lid, I have lid for the VTX as well. So let me try dismantling this uh, with one hand, and uh, why this is very important is because rather than using two hand to remove it, Fizzling around with two leads, I could just let me put it back. I just put it out easily, and then slip my nail in and remove it. If you have two hands, of course it's better. And uh, this is also to prevent plugging into the wrong servo lead because I replace, I use servo lead to power my VTX. So now I can be sure which is for servo, which is for uh, VTX without plugging them wrongly and uh, burning my so so this way is, is sure you'll be right and I'll flip it over and uh, remove the screw 
So beneath here, there's a there's a lock nut. Since I'm using a lock nut, I can just remove it using one hand with a 2.5mm uh, then screw. Okay, and because of the tape I apply at the bottom, the, the lock nut will not drop. So let's remove it. See? Easy. And then, let's put it over there. So let me remove the other side now. Um, I need to flip it over. Again. This one is a little bit tricky because of the extra RSSI, RSSI line. Okay, not too bad. Okay, just one hand and I can pull them over. Flip it again. Put the screw in. Screwdriver in. Lock it. It's quite tight actually because of the lock nut. Okay, with my left hand. Easy peasy. Okay, so because of the lock nut, uh, with a tape over it, so the lock nut will not go anywhere. And then pulling, pulling the carbon star out. This is a pretty long one. And there you go. Much slimmer, squarish form versus my Tundra. And then you see, this is my screw to hold them together compared to Tundra using such a tiny screw. I think this is M2.3. See, four of it. So, what's the problem using this one M4? In fact, this design is inspired by the my twin dream mtd my twin dream and then they are using just one screw as well so i did a lot of uh, uh, calculation or cautious in doing this design there are many considerations in it and uh, i believe it's even safer than the factory made one by my twin dream and even xuav clouds i also have the xuav cloud i show you the difference Okay, take a look at here. This is the XUAV cloud on the main body side. Is that big piece? On the wing side, this is a very small part of it. And here's a view for my design. Is it beef up? I beef up the wall over here and here as well. Okay, and the other side over this. So the design made it fit very tightly as well so like my this is the right wing you i have to trim a little bit of foam on the side whereas on the left wing i trim a lot more so there are some tips that i like to let you know okay okay what are the tips <coughs> Let's talk about uh, from the build. Okay, the first thing you have to do, of course, to print the file, uh, left, right, for the left wing and right wing, the inner part and also the outer part. And uh, please print this in 100% infill. It's a must. And uh, this one, 100% infill as well. I repeat, 100% infill. You have to print this at 100% infill or you it could be too weak okay that may be cracked and uh, so where do you cut i have a ruler here okay i think you dismantle the wing to show you the correct measurement okay never mind i'll show you the photo
So imagine this is this is before cut. Okay, you make a measurement at the front, 29 cm, the back 29 cm, and try to draw a line from the front to the back as straight as you can. And uh, it's better that when you draw a line, the 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 top line matches with the bottom line on the other side. Okay, that means your uh, cutting straight and then so when you cut you can instead of just slicing straight you cut by uh, looking from here or here and then uh, so because there are two lines on top and bottom then you you can be sure that uh, you're cutting straight so instead of slanted or uh, at an angle because as you cut you look at top and bottom you can see your knife is on the line of the top and line at the bottom Okay, then uh, look at the bottom again. So you see there are two holes here. Okay, once you cut, try to fit it in. And then uh, I use uh, hot melt glue, which is not the best method, but I'm not sure what are the other better glue to use over here. Because uh, that I'll explain again later. That's why I added this hole here, which you put a wooden dowel or the wooden stick into this to prevent it from uh, moving away from the wing as you can see it's very tight now so I don't want to rely just on uh, the hot melt glue okay then uh, on the other side is the same thing as well you have to uh, line it up and uh, cut a hole here so in this video I'll show other photos uh, during this build which you can refer how I make the marking and all. So this this video will show you a more detailed view of it. Installing this part. And I actually installed this few months ago. So yeah. So once you okay I remember behind this remember behind this uh flange here there's a oh sorry I mean behind this part there's a there are two flange uh, poking into the foam which allow you to poke uh, this wooden dowel to into the hole in the flange so it will prevent it from from coming out because I I realized that after a few pulls if I don't put this this may come off okay because you're just gluing on the surface and once you glue it in you add glue here as well and then trim it so that when you install it is smooth and add some glue here as well I also noticed that uh, some glue came off okay so I think that's about it and uh, hopefully this video will give you a uh, better idea of how this install instead of screwing it up I mean cutting off the wing and uh, screwing things up so yeah that's about it okay i mean uh, okay there's another one uh use m4 screw and uh let me check how long is it okay the screw length is 30 mm okay which will make it poke out a bit which is a good thing and uh you put a lock nut over there m4 lock nut and put over a tape so it doesn't fall off as you unscrew it and uh, put a hole because your screw will be poking out and so, so this is my Sky Hunter with the wing split mode. See how it looks like without wing on both sides. Looks like a XURB cloud, isn't it? Uh, so hope this video helped. And uh, well, if time allows, I'll put more video and more design to share with you guys. And uh, so regarding this file, instead of um, giving it free. I'm selling this file for a price of uh, five US dollar, and uh, I mean I hope you're fine with it. Five US dollar is just a very small amount, and reason I charge it is because I'm offering a solution here, a solution to uh, a more easily detachable sky hunter. I know a lot of you love your full size sky hunter; it flies awesome, but size is too big. Some of us don't have a big car, can't load it in, and it's very inconvenient to unscrew those four screws uh, managing a tail so this is not a cosmetic upgrade this is something that uh, solves your problem it provides you convenient 
So I decide, decide to uh, charge uh, a US dollar, five, five US dollar. And together with this video to show you how this install and uh, the review of it. So hope you like this video. Uh, please like and I mean thumbs up. Please like the video and subscribe. And uh, I mean I, I'm aiming to go over 1000 subscribers in a short time. And uh, so thank you very much for your support. And uh, please come back. Uh, subscribe to watch my other new videos as you can see at the back I have some other planes this is one of the corner and this is a new tundra I just made in today awesome plane nothing wrong with it but because nothing wrong with it is kind of boring okay it just flies normally and then doing some frequent touch and go uh, I think that's it so definitely gonna put FPV into it so probably in a different fun. Alright. Thank you. I'm Edward. See you again. Bye.